Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here with another shoe box. This one is for a boy, two to four. This is his card on top. It says, Dear Beautiful Child. And then it has a note from us inside that says, uh, this gift was packed special for you. So you would feel God's love and receive Jesus as your savior when you find out who he is. In the Bible, you can find out all about him. We love you, dear child, and we are praying for you. You are loved by God. So that one's gonna be um, going in once I repack this after I show you what's inside. This is his checkoff sheet. And I actually did um, four of these sea bo boxes. These are under the water themed or sea themed. And this one it says has uh, the, different, the different plushes um, I put on top. So this one it says otter. So I have a big otter in here. That's the stuffy wow toy. Each of the boxes have different uh, wow stuffed toys. So inside, when he opens the box, he'll see his backpack. This is an Ozark Trails one. I get those from Walmart and the Sporting Goods. And his big plush, which is this cute, I think it's a baby, but they're spotted like this when they're little. So this big cute plush, let me see if it says, it's Wild Republic and it's very soft. It reminds me of my dog, very soft. And then he has two markers in here. It's always fun. I think every age loves markers and if you can't put a whole set in, just a couple will be a lot of fun for the child who receives it. And here's a little, I tried to put a car in all my boxes, even if that's not a theme. And so I coordinated it with the colors of the box. And this is fun. This is from Ikea. It's a little finger puppet and it's a shark. So I think that'll be fun for him. It comes in a set of 10. And this one, I just thought, let's just include the shark because I had a little bit of room. Here's his flip flops. And I think those are size nine, large for him. Sometimes people ask me what size, and of course we can't know for sure, but I get it on the up, the top range of the toddlers section. Okay, these are his in a bag. I put two, his two underwear. It just fit um, well in here, and it just somehow makes the box look cleaner to me. So I don't usually do that, but I, if I can, I try to do it. Here's his mustache whistle. Fun to make noise with that and his 16 crayons. I like those. Christine McCoy gave me a, a lot of those crayons that she was able to get for a deal. Thank you, Christine. And here's his cup and his rattle with the made out of the minky. It's like a rabbit ears for him and a pair of socks and his pit ball in here in his Ikea cup. And here's his shirt, which to me is very cute from Old Navy, um, I think, yes. And it's an extra small and it has all the shark on it. Very, very soft and I like the colors too. Um, here's his scissors and his big pencil sharpener with the two size holes and his glue stick. Everything he needs for school is in here. A spoon to go with his cup and his soap saver and inside his soap saver is the directions in 14 different languages of how to use a soap saver and his Dove soap in a baggie. This, of course, is the wow toy, and this is the set that Michelle made. I love it. it. has the magnetic fishing poles inside and all the fish for the kids to fish for with the, the eye, and then the paper clips are inside. You would never know, like a child would never know. It'll just seem um, 
really wondrous when they can pick up a fish with a magnet. I know that it's gonna be really fun for them to play with. Here's his gray washcloth. He has two toothbrushes in here. One has a cover. The other one, I just put it in a bag and then when he's done with this one, he can put the cover on this one. I ran out of toothbrush covers. And then I have a starfish that's orange, just a figurine that's just big enough to not be a choking hazard, and a comb. And here's his composition book. At the bottom, I have all the flat things, so that's what I'm going to be pulling out now. This is his pencil case, and he has a multi-pen in here and his big yellow e, I mean, orange, pink eraser, and all of his pencils, I think. Woo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pencils, all different sizes that fit in there. Enough to share. Lots of times families and neighbors and friends share their school supplies because they can't, all, all the kids don't go to the um, in a village don't necessarily go to the shoebox opening. So there's a lot of sharing that goes on afterwards. It's a six inch ruler with a, both kinds of measurements. And here's his nail clippers and nail files and the directions on how to use them. Here's his uh, puzzles. This is elephant and flamingo. I think there might be three in here. Let's see. Pieces are all cut up ready for him to go play. Uh, yes, and a cat. You can, uh, if you want to print those out, it's just great because it takes up such little room. Uh, you can find it on the printable page on blessingsinissuebox.com. And also this is going to be on there, this under a water sea themed coloring book, which is of course ideal for this box. There's the shark. So cute. Some of my boxes, I saw the sea turtle. It reminded me another one of my boxes that's behind me has a sea turtle in it. Here's stickers and this is all blank paper for him to draw and color on. Here's his orange bandana and his sea themed lovey that Michelle made. So nice, and there's a lot of soft things in here, so I always look for textures and color, and I think this box has a lot of that, as well as uh, the educational supplies are in here, um, and hygiene items. So I think this is a balanced box. I love the big stuffy. That brings us to the end. I just really thank you all for watching and I pray that you're joining me with praying that God will multiply the shoebox blessings by preparing the communities and children around the world to receive the greatest gift of all, Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.